Okay, so how fun was that to do the first floor? Uh, pretty fun. It's going to be more fun when they actually get here and they're installed, though. Are you being sarcastic? No, I'm being serious. <laughs> that, was, that was kind of tough. Uh, okay, so on the second floor here, this is an L-shaped kitchen. So it's going to wrap around like this, probably all the way to where that outlet is right there. And then we have an island on the floor here as well. All right, let's get to work on this. So we're trying to figure out the kitchen layout here, and we did, but if you see, the water lines are nowhere to be found. And Mike thought they were buried, which, right, they look like they're buried, but for whatever reason, our, our plumber put them here, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I wish they just got run through the, the joist, but maybe they're not allowed to by code. I actually don't know. No idea. That could, maybe that's why. But anyway, they're gonna have to run like through the cabinets, which is kind of annoying. So if they're running through the cabinets, we can't have the dishwasher to the left. It's supposed to go to the right. This whole thing got fouled up because even though I spray painted this stuff, like sink was supposed to go there, dishwasher was supposed to go here, the framers put the window here. <sighs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We'll get... Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. And then we can't forget the, the island here. Yeah, you, and you told him 72, right? So we're gonna, so even though the end's there, we're gonna bump it out another foot because there's no reason why we can't. Plus the fridge is gonna end somewhere here anyway. So we're still good. So I think we got it. Hopefully we get this correct. So we have to rebuild these stairs because as you can see, they broke. <laughs> so we're gonna replace all these treads. You can even see the light coming through here. All these treads and risers we gotta replace. The stringers we're keeping. This is the stringer. This is the riser and this is the tread. But there's nothing underneath really. Well, no, there is. It's just old. It needs, it needs some support. Ooh, look at these bad boys that got installed. Yeah, buddy. Those look good. Nice. I guess that's gonna be the outlet. That should be okay. Not bad, not a bad caulking job. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, nope, we gotta talk to them about that. They're gonna hate me, but that's incomplete. Let's check out the flooring upstairs. All right guys, it's a little noisy today. Um, they're putting in the hardwood flooring on the second floor to start. We got a little private concert going on inside, but uh, it's looking really nice. We're gonna get it stained too, but they're moving fast, they're moving well. not prepared for this. This is uh, Home Depot? No, no. Oh, cabinets. Oh, not you guys. Okay. Oh my God. All right, they dropped off the cabinets. Gutters. You, you guys are the gutter guys? Yeah. Okay. Jesus. Oh my freaking God. Oh man, Mike is gonna kill me. Damn, we're, we might have to hire help to bring this in. So I'm not dressed for this. Well, <laughs> in the meantime, uh, I gotta go over with the gutter guys right now, where to put the downspouts, and more importantly, where to put this gutter and kind of run it. So let me figure that out with these guys. Okay, everybody, so the cabinets got delivered this morning, along with some other materials, and the guys aren't here today, so guess who's stuck bringing them in? Which truly, God knows how long this is gonna take, but it's all part of the fun process. All right, I'll give you guys my downspout dilemma in a minute, but this ticks me off. So I had a couple of these windows replaced and I said, I need this wrapped with white trim. So they buy the cheapest freaking plywood possible. This is garbage and painted it white. This is complete garbage. The whole house looks nice and this is garbage. 
So they need to go get me Azek and do this properly. You can't have a whole house looking beautiful and then just have garbage on the outside. I'll show you the, uh, anyway. So the gutter guys are telling me one downspout is not enough because it's such a big roof. We're gonna run a downspout in the back, which I don't have a problem because it'll go into the backyard. And then we'll run one down here in the front and it'll tie in, it'll run like this and then it'll go to the front and then it'll connect with the downspout from this. And that's not a problem, but the other side is a problem. Let me show you. I asked them to cancel this window. This is what they did. You know, like this is a foreclosure. Amateur hour. And this window, they also screwed up, just like the other side. Yeah, let me show you this side though. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay. So, so this side, right? If we run the downspout even over here, I don't want the water just pooling over here and if we run it over here people are going to step on it so i actually want to go to another job site where i'm pretty sure i did only one downspout on each side i'm going to go look and i'll come back i also need to pack this out with wood so all of this is flush because they're installing this gutter today so i need to pack out this entire thing and then we need to frame behind it as well so they can uh box it out i could come here and show you if you need to but i will say we are looking pretty nice in here the hardwood floors are in a little mess to clean up but this is gonna look beautiful so that's good news let's check out upstairs so my flooring guy is gonna have to come back to do some of the landings I think but we can't have him do that until we fix these stairs which is happening next week oh my god I could smell the the wood it smells good oh this looks beautiful 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 very nice Okay, everybody, about 80% done bringing in all the cabinets. Really what's left is the big bases. I've been here for like 45 minutes and it's 95 degrees out, so it's been a great workout. I don't think I'm going to the gym today, but so we're getting these in. Hopefully get these installed by the end of the weekend, if not Monday. Then Tuesday, the granite guys are coming to template. Shortly after, we're going to have the backsplash, get everything installed, and then we go from there. The gutter guys are here installing. I just put up that huge piece. Just some perspective of how big gutters are when they go on your house. Thing is huge. Okay, at Home Depot, having to get some uh, some pressure treated wood to frame out the soffits for the gutter that goes under the porch. What a pain in the butt this thing's been. I figure while I'm here, I might pick up a couple other things uh, that we need, like mailboxes, number for the address of the building, maybe a couple other things. Gotta love it. So right here, we were going over the kitchen cabinets and the level of the flooring because where he's pointing now by that window, that was the high point of the flooring and on the other side, you know, it was off probably by about an inch or so. So we were just kind of going over where shims need to be installed and, um, you know, where we were going to try to put the molding, the toe kicks, things like that. So there's a lot of little details when you're installing kitchen cabinets because you want to make sure everything's level. Okay, so didn't feel like I did a whole lot today. Now it's getting to be a lot of little stuff because the flooring is in, kitchen cabinets have started to go in. Uh, we were fixing the gutter that goes under the porch today. The guys are still working there actually, if you see behind me. Uh, I was doing a little job site cleanup. I did put on the, the house number, labeled the electric panel, put up the mailboxes, labeled the mailboxes, labeled the back doors. I have a whole punch list of things that we still need to do. So now it's a lot of little stuff. It's gonna go a lot slower. Uh, I went over what we need to do as far as landscaping goes. We need to drain one of the rear gutters um, into the backyard. We're probably going to create like a little seepage pit. We've got to add sod in the front yard. So it's just a lot of little things. You know, we got the mirrors in for the vanities. The bath vanity should come in at any moment. We got the all the shower trim in. So I'm trying to get everything set up for next week. So uh, we'll see how next week goes. But yeah, so we're just going to continue to move here and uh, continue to give you guys updates.
Um, NIL. I got to pay NIL. NIL. Um, okay, anything else? You want to go downstairs? I, I think that's it. No, downstairs, I think we're good. It's just too hot up there right now. They're doing more. No, I get it. These are the pendant lights. Right by the. For here. Yeah. And then, um, Gilbert, I, I brought all the doorknobs. There's more downstairs. Okay. And the door stoppers. Okay. And then I got paint for the front doors. Okay. Just to. Uh, yeah. I have another question. Okay. I mean, uh, I'm planning to install the back panel here. Yeah. So I just want to make sure that the water, is, or the wire is going to. Up it's gonna go, go here, right, Frank? Yeah, hold on. Let me, let me make a little hole right here. I want to drill. Yeah, whenever you get a chance, because I'd like to finish it. Yep. I'm also gonna add um, like two by four at the bottom underneath them uh, to attach the island. Okay. Screws, well, I was, I, I thought you already did it. I was like worried. No, not yet, not yet. I mean, thank God. So you did downstairs. Yeah, we could go. We could go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go downstairs. This, this we could play with a lot more. Yeah, but uh, that's why, I mean, I need to know how far we're like from there, from down. Well, I'm more concerned with the, uh, yeah, well, hold on. So let's see if we, <laughs> and how far is it from here? Right now, it's like uh, 48, I think. Yeah, 48. Now, these wires are here. So what if we move this like six inches? Yes. So. Yes, my Yeah, the problem is, because there's going to be like, you know, actually, uh, let me see. Because there's going to be like an eight or nine inch overhang with the countertop. This is 12, so it won't even be that big. It'll be like, thank you. Yeah, so it might be like this. Like, this is the countertop overhang, but then, you know, you're sitting here. Oh, uh, that's not bad. Like, what do you think? Like, for people to walk behind? In a deep spot. There we go. Okay. But it's still, I mean, this is, we can still move a little bit that way. Because the light sure. is. He could, no, he could adjust this. This is almost yeah. center line. There's some wiggle room. So, and then this, there's like, this is enough space. I don't feel like I'm cramped walking. 48? Through. We can leave 48. We can leave that 48. Okay. Well, okay. So, this I is think we have to start meshing. I don't want to make up. I think we do 54 as well on this one. Okay. Let's push this one then. To me, one more inch. Right there, 54. Um, 54 here, right? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Because then over here is going to be the dishwasher, right? So you you like you're not going to bump into this. No. All right, that's good. Oh my God, the HVAC guys. Where's where's the vent? Am I gonna run through the... No, it's 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 up here. One hundred percent, it's up in here. Oh, uh, the shoe rocker, the, the cover. I mean, if they never I... ran it all the way through. Oh. Okay, well they're here. Let me let me go grab him. Just dropping off some shower fixtures today and going over a huge punch list of stuff that we have. I'll show you guys what's going on here. <laughs> wow. So that's for running the Wayne, the, the Wayne, the Wayne water, the rain water. We're gonna kind of follow that line and run a pipe here and fill this up with the crushed stone for the water runoff so we don't have any water problems near the foundation. This is an error we had to fix. Our electrician forgot or didn't know that we were doing electric water heater in the attic. I'm gonna cut all this open. But the trims are coming out nice. This is the first time I've done this where we do drywall returns, which like, for those of you who don't know, drywall return is this, like there's no trim. Instead we put like a little shelf on the bottom. So I think it, it I think it passes, I think it looks kind of nice and it saves us some money on trim. This is the dead corner I like to do on rentals anyway because like no one uses a Lazy Susan, so we save money not buying a cabinet. We frame this out for the grant to go on, and, that, and that'll be it. But the base, the base molding starting to go in, that's good. All the outlets are in. Yeah, this looks nice too, look at this. This looks good. Doorbell's in, that's good. 
Guys, thanks for watching the episode this week. A lot of little things now that we're working on finishing. I continue to share the progress with you, and we're hoping to finish this this beauty up in like the next two weeks here. So uh, the last episode might be the final product. So stay tuned.